Next question is from Sar Dibley. How can I back squat more weight? I have good depth, but struggle lifting heavy. Okay, so context really matters, right? Depends on the person, how they're squatting, what the weak area is. That'll change my advice. So I'm, I don't know who this person is. I've never seen him squat. Don't know what the workout looks like. So I'm going to give general advice that I think is effective for pretty much any strength goal, okay? And that's this. Practice the particular exercise frequently. Now, I say practice specifically because I don't mean go out and hammer yourself with squats five days a week. You can do that once a week, but the other days go out and practice your squat. Like if you increase the frequency of how much you practice an exercise, you will get stronger. I don't care if it's bench press, pull-ups, uh, squats. If I squat hard one day a week and then the rest of the week I'm doing you know five sets and practicing my form, my technique, and I go lower sometimes, sometimes I go a little heavier, lower reps, higher reps. That practice, in, in my experience leads to some of the most rapid strength gains for most people in pretty much any exercise. Yeah, I'm going to kind of uh, talk about something very specific. And this does depend on whether or not you have a squat rack and you have safety bars that you can use for this. But I really like this in terms of trying to generate more force. And really, if you can learn how to generate more force, you're going to be able to use that as a, as a way to propel your body and have more strength in your movement. So... Uh, isometrics are a big part of this, oh, and I, yeah. I talk about this a lot. I mean, and so you can get into pause squats where you're sitting in that squat, and usually the bottom is where the weakness is and driving out of the hole, right? So just to be able to sit in that and squeeze and really connect to that and, and try and recruit more in that position is one method, but then also setting the um, safety bars. So basically they're at the top and you're pushing up into the safety bar. So if I'm at, if I'm sitting in my squat and then I'm pushing up and meeting resistance and I'm squeezing and as driving. far as I possibly can and not going anywhere, you're going to find that that has a lot of a generating force ability. Dude, um, along those lines, I've seen someone do this and I think it's absolutely brilliant. So I've done that before where you set the safeties, you get the bar underneath it and you push up in the safeties. The problem is if you get strong, you have to put weights on the cage because you'll actually tip the cage over. Oh, yeah. So it's I've, not bolted in. I've seen someone do this, what I'm about to say, and I think it's absolutely brilliant. So all they, and this is such brilliant home gym, advanced training, you know, setup. He put, he literally put bolts into the cement. So he had two bolts into the cement with like loops on them. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I don't know what that's called. It's a bolt with a, with a circle loop. Mm -hmm. And then he puts chains around the bar. And it's an eye bolt. Yeah. And attaches various lengths of the chain to the bolt. So he gets mm -hmm. under the bar, the bar is bolted and chained to these bolts and cement, and then he gets underneath. So you can only can, go up so far. You can only yeah. go up so far. That's, and he squats against that, and it's going to hold because yeah. it's bolted to the concrete. Mm. And he could change the the how deep or how high he wants to go by the links of the chain. Yeah. I thought that was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it's one of the smart. smartest ways to do what you said, which is that, you know, where you're doing an isometric drive, mm -hmm. not moving anywhere. You know what I like about that also is it doesn't damage muscle. No, you like, can back out easy. You could do it frequently. Mm -hmm. You could practice something like that three days a week in, in different varying you know depths or whatever, and you'll see some serious strength gains. Well, since we're just we're having fun speculating because we definitely don't have enough information for this this question. Uh, yeah. yeah, let's be honest. Like, there's well, I don't so, know what they're doing. Right? I know we're all like we're all, which is cool because we're, we're all just I'll, doling advice. Right, you know, I'll, I'll go a different direction, right? Because yeah. there's there are so many different ways, but uh, I, I'll try try and think of things that I saw that were real common. So when I have somebody who has like a really good deep squat. Uh, and it's, so it's not like a range of motion thing, but they just cannot load the bar. And it's because there's a breakdown somewhere or they have like a really weak core and they can't hold themselves really tight. So if you, and I like where Justin's going with the whole isometric thing, being able to stay contract, contracted and tight through the movement, that has, a. I mean, I know for me, if, uh, if I like don't tighten and brace my core, I, I'm like night and day difference on how much I move. I can move like the performance 50 league. to 100 more pounds when I'm like, I brace really and I'm rigid yeah. and I'm tight to the movement because the slightest bit of moving left or right or front to back or your core kind of folding in because it's You don't want not, any looseness. Yeah, you, lo you lose that energy on, on a big movement like a back squat. So making sure that you have a, a really tight core and that you're rigid is, is a good idea. Training like the isometrics is going to help uh, do something like that. So practice with something like that. Although this could be, you know, a million other things. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.